All right. Wow, look at you. You fancy. That's oh, some yeah. flash stuff right there. Mm -hmm. Some Star Labs kind of looking thing. <laughs> I'm looking for some good uh, After Effects from Star Labs. Oh my god. <laughs> Love the shirt. Thank you. Love yours too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, hey, I'm all around. Rock on, rock on, rock on. So, unlike most superhero series, yeah. uh, a lot of people know who the Flash is pretty much right off the bat, or at least they figure it out. Yeah. You're, uh, you're one of the people that just sort of happens in. How does that affect you interacting with the rest of the characters? Well, I mean, obviously we have to keep the secret from most people, including my daughter, because it's safer for her not to know. Um, but I'm glad that I do know um, so early on in the story, uh, because it gives me a barrier secret to protect. You know? Is that further bonding for you guys? Definitely further bonding. Definitely. But, I mean, it really is safer for most people not to know who they are. That's it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no! no. <laughs> Isn't it an exciting thing from the script to, to find out that you're not going to be the ones that has to play dumb the whole time, that you actually get into the action? It, exactly. You know, the cool thing is, I told Andrew Crossbow, Jeff Johns, and Greg Berlanti that I didn't grow up in this world. I didn't grow up you knowing anything about comics or anything like that. And Joe didn't either. So I don't want to know too much. Don't tell me anything. They got really excited about stuff like, you know, and the gorillas are coming and, you know, and all this stuff. And I was like, shut up. Stop telling me that. I don't want to know that stuff. Joe doesn't know it. I want him to see it just like the audience sees it. Every week something new shows up and Joe's like, oh my god, I'm going to have to kill something else. <laughs> That's the big difference about this detective and Law and Order. Like, in Law and Order, I talk to people. There are some crazy people in the streets of New York City. I haven't seen anything like this. But on this show, I get to shoot stuff. <laughs> So it looks like Wes is now in a position where he's probably going to have to kind of keep the department off of Barry when yeah. things you know, get involved. So now he's not only lying to Iris, he's yes. lying to all of his co-workers too. Definitely. I mean, like, I've suddenly become like ultra protective of uh, not just Barry, but also the Flash. You know, because if anything gets out, it changes everything. It really changes everything. So it's fun. It's a fun secret to have. You're busy with a new show, clearly, but are you going to be going on to theater anytime soon? Are there anything? I certainly hope so. I mean, I, I certainly hope that this, you know, we're obviously going to be shooting this for quite a while, but like during hiatuses, if I can go anywhere, it's always like, I have It's always nice when you pop up on the Tony. Word! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, I hope so. I mean, I live for that. I mean, I do this job not only because it's fun, but I make enough money to afford to go do theater. Just don't make so much money for the theater. Right. Um, but that's where I belong. That's my thing. So hopefully I get to go back. And not to mention, we got some talented people in this, this group here. So we might be able to work something out. I'm glad we are all working together again. Yeah. So Flash the music. Just put it. Flash the music. Who knows? Turn it here for us. Just put it out there in the universe. I'm glad you were right there with it. That'll be the headline on Broadway World. Just Flash the music. Yeah. What, what song would you sing for Flash the music? That's a good question. Uh, it depends on who I was playing. If I was playing Detective Joe West, uh, don't tell my daughter. Don't tell my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell Iris. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Have the rest of the day.